for x, so we'll split this up into two, cosine x, oops, minus one, and this will be cosine x plus one. This works out because we need to multiply the two cosine x times the positive one, because when we can't uh, subtract one cosine from it, it's still got the positive value there. So what we do here is we set each of these equal to zero, and then we solve to get x equal to that. So this ends up being equal to cosine x minus one equals zero. Cosine of x is equal to one half. Cosine of x is equal to one half at pi over three and five pi over three. Cosine of x is equal to negative one at pi. So to solve for this, we're gonna have x is equal to pi over three plus two pi n, five pi over three plus two pi n, and finally um, pi plus two pi n, and that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. Have a fantastic day.